Bam! We get some wizard! He looks so much better on stream than he does when I record him. He's so fun to watch now. I could watch him do that all day. Sword World SFC2! That sounds Japanese. By the way, I am starting to work on another mascot. That'll probably... I didn't want you to do that, damn it. That'll probably take a while to do, though. There. We are ready. That'll put the count at 55. Do we have 55 mascots already? I haven't looked at the mascot sandwich actual count in a long time. I guess I will just do the thing where I, uh... This over itself. Wow, what the hell? There we go. Anon wants me to bring the foxes back, damn it. I refuse. You can see them again at the end of the stream, if you so desire. Oh, it's gonna be in a little window, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hang on a minute. Let me make that better. I can deal with a little window, but you guys shouldn't have to. Once upon a time, demons got stabbed in the back by the giant sword from Super Mario RPG. They were not happy about their land being invaded by a giant sword, but they didn't have much choice, so they dealt with it. Until one day, a giant came to claim the sword as his own. This giant's name... ...was... LOL! Nobody really knows why he was named that. His mother was a dick, and liked internet memes. But I digress, this giant took the sword from the landscape... ...very, very slowly. In fact, it took centuries, and you couldn't even see it moving. It took so long for him to pull this out of the, uh, landscape. Because the bigger you are, the slower you move, and he was gigantic. I can't stress enough how slowly he pulled the sword out of the landscape. You gotta believe me. It just... It took a long time, okay? Really? You, take my word for it. You really want me to move on with the story. Okay, so one that eventually he takes the sword out of the landscape. And he looks he looks like Moses. So giant Moses takes the giant sword and he's like, you know, a cross would be a really cool symbol for my uh my religion I'm inventing. And that's how in Moses invented Christianity by killing Jesus himself. 
Jesus did not take light this lightly, though, and decided to ban Moses from all of his parties in the future. Which, of which there were many. But, in the year 520, the biggest rave party Moses ever created made Jesus jealous because his parties didn't even come close to that awesome. And Jesus said, Okay, Moses, you win. If only I had known how much of a party whore you were. I would not have banned you from my parties. LOL! I will make you my favorite- Would you stop fucking- Stop it. I will make you my best friend ever. Okay, damn it. Is that popping up on the screen? Yes, it is. I can't ban you, Anon, but I can do this! Get the fuck back over there. Bam! Anon spam is now out of the screen. And the chat looks really tiny and stupid. It's perfect. So, this is the story of Jesus' sword world. Jesus is also a cyclops, by the way. Damn it. I gotta do that again. Because I forgot an important part. Also, this should be aerial. Get out of here, Vera. Derp face. Sun over river. Sweating telephone pole. Three. Sure, we'll be this guy. That looks good. Fucking... Shit! We're getting Japanese menued! Damn 
it. I made it! My name is no longer what I said earlier. What does it say? Ferdin, translate this line. Help. Help. What does it say? What do I need to do? This game's a bunch of caca caca caca. If I can't get into it. I don't want the Japanese menus to win. Not after the censorship. What does it want? Never mind, I figured it out. I was just in the wrong menu. Welcome to my tavern. It is full of people. That was kind of neat. Okay, back to normal speed. Also, turn that back on. <laughs> Screen effects! Okay, clearly- whoa, no, never mind. Shut up, leave me alone! This mist is persistent. You can't come in here! You don't have enough... ...doggers! Oh, Jesus. Hey! Whoa, that's cool. There's gotta be something to kill around here. Bust down the door. Why are there so many fucking taverns? I'm guessing these are all shops and stuff. This is different. Hey, how's it going? Can I come in? A shrine. I just noticed the privacy message. Wow. Damn it. Anon, you faggot. I got this. I got this. 
I, I, I got this. There, I, I fixed it. It's better now, right? Get out of the way. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> it didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna just get rid of that. Sensor reinitiated. Okay, I think I've had enough of this game. This game is going nowhere. Nowhere fast. I wonder what kind of game it actually is. Probably a boring strategy one or something. That is not a game I would be playing. Kokita loves being in lists, so let's go down to all these Anons. Oh. There we go. It's the douchebags. I gotta be in the list so I feel important. Kokido can stay too. Bye, Sword World! Let's try that again. Oh. You. Out. Whoa, Vero's on top of me. What are we gonna do in the list, Pomf? Bonk, by the way. Are we gonna bonk each other? I hope not. Oh, hell yes! Marble Madness! I never played the Genesis version. This should be interesting. Get out of here. Here we go. Marble Madness. Ugh! What did they do to the music? Headache. My brother! Once got in EGM, I think it was. Yeah. Back in the day. Or no, it was Nintendo Power. EGM didn't exist yet. Uh, he got a Nintendo Power at the number two spot for his Marble Madness score because he was a master at this game. The NES version. And he was pissed off because the number one person had an obviously impossibly cheated score. So if you read Nintendo Power back in the day... And you saw the Marble Madness scores. You might have seen my brother. With his number two score. I don't know what issue. Ugh! Everything about this sound. No. My brother also got an EGM twice. Once was for when they were asking for submissions when the DS was announced for alternative gaming consoles. Uh, he wrote like a little paragraph about a console called the iWanderware. And I had made the picture for it and it was just a normal DS with four screens. 
Like, a, a game- not a normal DS, it was a Game Boy with four screens. This was before the DS was even seen, so we didn't know how it was gonna work. But it was a, a regular-ass Game Boy with four screens, it was beautiful. Shit. I always sucked at this. I also made a uh, Face Suck 2000 ROM or, or M cartridge. The other time he got an EGM was for uh, Worst gr Present Ever or something. And he made up- he, he looked around his apartment and made up a story about the- the worst present idea he had, even though it wasn't true. And it was a rotten cactus, and he wrote this hilarious story about how he received a rotten cactus even though he didn't. So he kind of cheated. Wow. This makes me want to murder myself. I think for that one he won a signed copy of uh, Sonic Heroes. And a not signed copy of it for a different system or something. I'm not sure. I think he just sold them. Because he doesn't like Sonic. How can you mess up the music this bad? Ah, oh, My ears! Dickwad. Dickwad! This is where I lose. Have I done NES Marble Madness yet? Because if not, I'm going to do that now. Right now. I have. Okay. Well, that was... That was horrible ear rape Marble Madness. I think even the Commodore 64 version was probably better than that. Holy shit. Also, no Rolly Ball to sec select my name? What the fuck is this shit? Zaytardo made number one, even though he had only played this once ever on the Genesis, and it was this time. Hey, let's get some great music, guys. Let's... Oh, you got lucky. I can't find it. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Let's, let's get some great music going on real quick. <laughs> 